Hey everyone, I hope you are all doing well. So this is a video that I have been meaning to get out for quite some time now and it is on my Burberry note bag. So I'm gonna talk about the wear and tear. I've been using this bag for just over a year now. I got this last October and I have used this bag, trust me. I love this bag. It is definitely by far my most worn handbag. Um, honestly, probably of my life. I don't think there's been a bag that I have just used every single day pretty much without swapping out. There's been like maybe a few evenings where I did switch out for another handbag, but I use this bag all winter months. Um, like starting in the fall, I've been using it since pretty much probably like October 1st or something. I don't even know. And I used it all last year and up until like, who knows, probably um, June or I'm thinking like May, I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this bag. And what's crazy about it is it, it's still under $2,000, I believe. I think it's like 1,900. When I got it, I believe it was 1,750 plus tax. And I think it's 1,900 Canadian now. And um, like, as you guys probably know, in the world of luxury handbags, to find anything under two thousand dollars is is crazy. So I do think this bag is still worthwhile for sure, and I really recommend it. So I just did a really quick "What's in my bag" YouTube short. So my purse is empty, which actually maybe is better to show you guys. Okay, so this handbag has really, really uh, stood up like stood the test of time for its quality. It has um, done a really amazing job. I feel like I am absolutely responsible for the only wear on it. And I'm gonna tell you guys why. So I'll just take you through. Um, one thing I wanna note, I am cognitive of when I pick up the handbag is I feel like, do you see how this, these, this area could be a weak point? Because if the bag is full and heavy, if you don't pick this up straight, this is going to keep wearing and see this piece of leather here. Mine's fine, but I could definitely see how with time, if you keep picking it up sideways and it's full, that this will wear down. And if you guys are like me, I look at resale bags online and stuff like that or, or use, how, what's the proper word, like resale, I guess. Um, and one of the things I do notice with a lot of bags is wear on these little areas on the side. So I do think that's something that I need to be mindful of. And I do try to pick it up straight without like making it all sideways. Um, so I really do notice, and I hope my camera is clear enough for you guys. There is some scratches here. Um, I use this bag like a real handbag like I'm not treating it preciously um I am aware of certain things of course I, I'm not meaning to ever put it against something that's scratching it I'm not meaning to scratch it when I open it but I'm gonna open it I'm gonna use it I'm not like being afraid if this makes sense and then yes I'm trying to be aware to lift it up straight but um it does scratch and I think why well, this is going to lose color, I think, around the edges with time. See the scratching? And that's because this metal is, like, because I, I just do it, whatever, quick. But um, just the metals are rubbing on each other there. And maybe with time, the gold finish will start to wear off. But for the amount of wear I'm getting out of this bag, I am not concerned at all. I think this bag is amazing, and I would totally buy it buy it again in a heartbeat um so that's really that there is a bit of wear here and that's probably from bumping on things to be honest I don't know how much I can show you guys but yeah the metal is just showing a bit of rubbing so the corners are fairly good these corners here are great and that's because of the way that the bag is made where it goes round there so it's really the, the corners at the back that come to a point that are showing wear. And this is absolutely my doing and I'm kind of annoyed about it. So what I was doing, this side's not as bad. It's really this side. 
So I play tennis and there's nowhere on the court to put your stuff. So I also didn't feel safe leaving my bag in the car, which really I should because like the, it's so freaking busy in that parking lot. Anyways, um, so I have this wool tote, oopsies, that I've been bringing into the, the tennis court with me so that I can put my puffer coat inside of so that I'm not just putting my puffer coat on the floor um, cause I don't want it to get dirty. And then, so I would bring my bag in, I would put my bag inside the wool tote at the bottom, and then I would shove my jacket on top. And it's kind of dumb of me to be doing that because the wool is definitely, um, a, a textured type of material that is easy to rub on this. And that's absolutely why I do have corner wear damage showing because it really was it was like this corner or better before I did that a few times. And then I noticed, and I would carry it out of there like that. And then like into the house. So into the car, into the house. And yeah, it, it was just like rubbing inside of that wool tote, which is a bit abrasive, I guess. And that's really what caused the wear. Um, so yeah, my own fault, but you know what? I knew that was a weak point with the bag. I knew these sharp corners were a weak point. Um, I really should actually, uh, moisturize this bag, like get a product to condition it and then condition the corners that might help. So those are the main things that I have noticed and I've used this bag like I don't even know how many times, definitely over 150 times. I use this bag, I probably use this bag like 200 days. Like, I don't even know, honestly, you guys. I use this bag so much, I actually, I really, really like it. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, I, I'm really lucky. There is no staining here. This is actually just fuzz. Uh, yeah, there's been no staining here at all. There's no scratching showing here. That's the beauty of this nice textured leather. I feel it's very forgiving. The pocket does not seem to look stretched out and I do use this pocket. Um, I have absolutely no staining inside. I am like, well, I put my hand sanitizer in there, but of course, oh, and I had lipsticks just loosey goosey in there hanging out. But um, yeah, I just haven't had anything spilled, thankfully. And I use this pocket all the time. Nothing looks worn, I feel, right? I think that the structure on this bag is done really well. It has really remained intact. I really like this bag, you guys, and I really recommend it. Um, the strap is so durable. It's amazing it's just I'm such a huge Burberry fan and I think in the world of luxury you cannot beat the quality for the money and I know a lot of people bash Burberry because um, for instance a lot of their clothing is made in China I think it doesn't matter at all I think the main thing is well hopefully the conditions the working conditions are fine of course that matters but um, otherwise, I don't feel that the quality is lost because of where it's made regarding their clothing. Um, I think that their quality standards are super phenomenal. And um, I just, I really, really like Burberry. I think that unfortunately, their prices, I have a feeling, are going to go up a lot here soon. But yeah, this bag is awesome and just really, for the amount of usage, the wear and tear is so ridiculously minimal. Um, I'm just really, really happy with this bag. And I hope that you guys like this little mini up-to-date review on it. And if you have any questions, I'm probably forgetting to talk about something. I have no idea, but um, yeah, please let me know. And um, anyone who is wondering, um, I seen quite a few comments in my unboxing video or my first impression video of this bag with the ripply strap. I think the ripples went away within the first day of use. So definitely don't let that put you off. I know at first I was really worried, but um, yeah, the ripples came out right away. So you don't have to worry about that. And it's just, 
it's just such a nice classic bag. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. It helps huge. I'm buried in the basement of YouTube and nobody sees my videos here. So all the help, all the, all the little things help me with the algorithm. Um, it helps to like, just like push you up. So someone sees me like, hi, I'm down here. Oh my gosh, no one sees me. <laughs> okay, see you in my next video. Bye.